Yo, what up everyone? This is Devilicious here and today we're going to take a look at the Illusion Battlefield Prime Playoff Interface. First, I want to say a massive congratulations to the teams that actually made it to playoffs. You guys would have put a lot of effort, hard work, strategic plans together and also coordinated a huge amount of teamwork to get to this point and I am super proud to see so many amazing alliances from different servers actually make it into playoffs. To access the playoff interface, all you need to do is tap on the well in the bottom right hand corner of the main interface and then tap on the Illusion Battlefield area. This is where you will get to access either the regular season or the Prime League season and if you've made it to the playoffs, you can simply tap on the Prime League Season 1 and have a look at the registration details in the main interface for the Illusion Battlefield upcoming Prime matches. Now in terms of the interface, it's no different to what we've seen before. You've got the event, shop, statistics, battle records and rules up the top right hand corner. And here in this little section, you can access your marches, your immortals, your skills uh, and you can customize those for your upcoming matches. In terms of your member management, so with the playoffs, only 30 primary forces can actually play in the playoffs. Uh, so you need to select 30 players in total and only 5 substitutes. And from reading the rules, you can only make 10 changes. Uh, so this is a total of 30 players in the primary uh, and then 5 substitutes. So this, this is a little bit different to the previous rounds of playoffs. Because in the previous rounds, you could have 40 players as primary forces and then 20 substitutes. They've dropped that down to 30 and 5. Uh, for primary force and substitute so it'll be interesting to see how the strategic direction and the strategic plays in the upcoming matches differ versus what we saw in the previous rounds now in terms of the left hand side there's a new uh, kind of experience here which is called current position group match and then defeat so we're going to tap on this uh, and this will show some of the key matches that are coming up in terms of the groups and the players and the alliances that are going to be battling off against each other so obviously you know because i'm i'm going to be playing up against the uh world predators army from server 65 that's going to be the first matchup for uh my alliance uh and and the team that we're going to be playing is going to be uh basically battling off with us in the first round so this is the the match and we followed a couple of matches uh you know big fan of boss from server 57 uh you know that's my previous server and these guys are actually super good at ib so i'm looking forward to seeing how they go up against uh server 71 infinity warriors i've also followed a couple of other matches like uh fang fallen angels versus zero morse from uh server 49 uh, also looking at some of the other matches that we've got here, super excited to see my previous alliance match, uh, which is NGU from Server 57, Never Give Up, and big shout out to the current R6, L Tony, uh, who, despite taking a bit of a break from IK, is still full of energy and still making amazing videos as part of the PO team, so congratulations to you for making it back into the PO team and creating some really cool content. Now, in terms of this interface, there's been a little bit of confusion recently about, you know, how do I find the information that's relevant for me if you're in the playoffs? So, we're going to tap the dendogram. And when I first tapped this, you know, obviously my first initial reaction was to look at all of the different groups that are actually playing in the playoffs to see who's going to be matched up with who. And this is where you'll see, uh, obviously, again, uh, MAH Alliance versus the WPA Alliance for Server 60. Five is actually going to be playing off against each other and then the winner obviously based on this will go through to the next round uh, and then the winner will be versing either uh, AMG from server 109 or uh, Ego from 26 depending on who wins that match so that all kind of makes sense to me what what I was struggling to find out is you know what happens to the loser because if someone loses uh, the playoffs match it's not a, a direct elimination knockout. It's kind of like a round robin. So, you, but but I can't really see that in this dendrogram environment. And I kind of stumbled across this by accident that you can actually scroll across all the way to the right. And there is something which is called the Silver Group Promotion Alliance. So if you lose the uh, first match... Uh, in the playoffs, you'll actually move into the Silver Group Promotion Alliance, and that's where you'll be battling off against the loser of the other match. Uh, so there is still a chance for you to actually make it into the Silver Promotion, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, being able to kind of continue to participate in these, uh, you know, top 16 jewels that are coming up. And if you want to see the top 16 jewels map, this is going to be the elimination stage. So this is where all of the people that make it into the top 16 uh, they're going to actually uh, 
basically they're going to be playing off in terms of a, a total knockout based uh, matchup. So if you're, you're knocked out of the top 16 duel, that's it for you. Your journey ends as part of the playoff experience. And then obviously looking to the final uh, section here, which is, you know, uh, third place and also first place champion, which currently says Cha, so I think they're going to update that later. Uh, but you'll have first and second battle off and then third and fourth battle off to see who actually is first, second and third in the Illusion Battlefield Prime Season 1. So I think this is pretty cool. So if you haven't seen the Dendergram, this is a pretty cool way to kind of explore who's going to be battling who and who, who you could potentially match up against if you win or lose. Uh, in terms of the event tab up the top right hand corner, so uh, in the first part of the event tab you've got your guessing. This is where you can essentially uh, spend cubes to uh, identify winners and then based on your cubes and who you're uh, choosing as a winner, uh, you can potentially get some rewards and then you can spend these rewards, much like uh, Throne of Supreme, you can spend these rewards on gifts in the shop. There are daily tasks that you will need to do as part of the Illusion Battlefield uh, Prime Playoffs experience, and you can also tap on the hot tab to have a look at some of the videos uh, from the last round of Illusion Battlefield Prime before the playoffs. And I imagine that these videos are going to be updated as we go through this. Now, one thing that's uh, caused a little bit of confusion for a couple of alliances, and I know that this has been raised with the moderators already, uh, is when is my Illusion Battlefield Prime match? So the interesting thing here is if you have a look, uh, obviously, Mighty Alliance, so the Mighty Army Haven Alliance from Server 121 is going to go up against the World Predator Army, and it says that our match is going to be played on the 10th of July at 3 a.m. in the morning UTC time. But it's kind of interesting because uh, MAH, didn't, uh, we did select 3 a.m., 3 p.m., and then also 19 p.m. as our times, but I'm 100% confident that WPA didn't because uh, they selected opposite times from us uh, with the intention that we would, we would get placed in the... Uh, 1500 UTC time slot. So I'm not sure if this is a, a development issue or this is just a, a, a slight flaw in the time selection mechanism, uh, but I do know that this will be fixed for a lot of the players that have selected times and are going to be playing these times uh, in the upcoming matches. Regardless, we're still going to make it uh, if it is at 3 o'clock in the morning UTC time, uh, and that works for Server 121, MAH Alliance, so we're looking forward to playing our first match tomorrow. Now, obviously, as you uh, get further into the game, you, you've got the shop here. So the shop here in the playoffs experience, we're going to tap on that. This is where you can actually uh, spend your cubes on getting violet, violet coins. And violet coins are fantastic for being able to purchase items in the shop. This ranges all the way from epic forging materials. So this is where you can pick up some ancient dragon spine power or dragon breath potion or refined oil or the element core. And uh, I think this is going to be really popular just due to the the expensive nature of the artifact development in game uh, because you do need a lot of RSS you didn't do need a lot of resources and now with the recent change where you have to have exactly the same artifact to develop the existing artifact I think that this is going to probably be the number one item that people are going to be buying in the shop uh, and it, all of the items are pretty good but uh, this one I think for me is the one that people are going to be spending a lot of time on trying to purchase uh, in addition to the shop, you've got statistics. So this is currently empty at the moment because no matches have been played. And the first match is going to be played tomorrow. Uh, and then again, same thing for the battle records as well. Okay, now in terms of the overall schedule, if you tap on the schedule here, this will show you a general overview of the schedule. So we're going to be starting, it does say here, start Illusion Battlefield Prime playoffs on the 4th of July, but the first round group match is going to be on the 10th of July. Uh, and that's going to be, all of these group matches going to be running weekly all the way up until the 8th of August. And that's when the top 16 jewels are going to form. So during this elimination stage, it's going to be running all the way from the 10th of July to the 8th of August. So it's, it's, it's a decent amount of time. You're talking almost a month of playoffs. And then in terms of the group 16 stage, so uh, in terms of the first uh, match, I believe that this is going to start on the 8th of August, I believe, based on this uh, visual. Uh, and then you've got the best eights match, which is going to be on the 14th of August, with the final matches uh, essentially going to be on the 7th of September. So we've got a couple of months of really good gameplay here, which I'm very excited to have a look at. And I do wish all of the alliances that have made it to playoffs 
the best of luck and the best of success in their ultimate journey towards being the champion of Illusion Battlefield. I'm looking forward to seeing the builds and the strategies that are played. And if you've got any questions or if there's anything that you want to get help with when it comes to Illusion Battlefield, Illusion Battlefield strategy, or even build guides, feel free to reach out, drop a comment below on what kind of marches you think are going to be the best or the most played marches in the upcoming Illusion Battlefield Prime matchups. And I do hope that you really enjoyed your know, understanding this kind of whole interface for Illusion Battlefield. It's been a pleasure as always to make these videos and thanks very much for watching.